one of our favorite things is to cook in our wood kitchen garden and oh my goodness hasn't it been growing and growing we started out with a small patch i think when we started shooting our content and then you saw us grow bigger we've worked with the radical farmer in our organic herb garden and today we've got an incredible surprise for you this is a big announcement guys The big announcement is that Wood Kitchen have collaborated and partnered with Syngenta Zambia. We are really excited to bring to you information on how to grow our vegetables. You know, it's really all about farm to table, you know, in the Wood Kitchen. And today I'm really excited because, oh my goodness, I even have like the different types of tomatoes that they have they've got the tovi star they've got the apa tomato they've got the newton tomato i never know the names of the tomatoes that i'm cooking but guess what in the coming months i will be a master and so will you we are talking to the after five farmer we are talking to you who is the commercial farmer we're just saying everything vegetables as long as we grow it here with syngenta you are going to get to know as much about it so look out for our stories look out for our posts look out for our youtube channel like episodes because it's going to be amazing now i'm going to be hosting somebody from syngenta today and i want to make something very quick very quick and easy meal so i thought what do i do let's quickly buy something now i got a little gift and it is this amazing bicycle guys i've got lots of stories about bicycles actually one of my scars is it yeah here is because i was trying to do some tricks on a bicycle so never try to like say lulu i can ride better than you dude i was riding a bike with one foot on the bar and the other foot in the air and one hand on guys on the handles but I was doing it downhill in Chipata and I scrapped my face literally and the sky is still there. But this is an incredible bicycle. It's not just any other bicycle. It's the Shockers bicycle, guys. This bicycle is one of the bicycles that you are going to be able to win if you enter the competition that's currently running between Gatbro, ShopRite, Zambia and Rhodes Food Group. Now, this bicycle is perfect if you want to start a business. We have two cooler boxes here. An amazing bicycle which has a back brake which makes it easy for you you don't have to worry about extra parts you know when you are braking you know those things that causing trouble with the bicycle yeah I know about that but the best part about this bicycle is the price stand right here it's incredible and I'm going to be using it today without William wish me luck because you guys know that William is the bright king anyways Let's start cooking. Now, I got some minute steak. Minute steaks are normally quite affordable. Um, if you're going to like a, a shopping, like a, what do you call these? The shop rights, the pick and pays and so forth. They're, you know, pretty affordable cuts of meat. Um, what I've done is I have sliced them in, like sliced them so that they get longer. But normally this is what they look like. They're, you know, about that thick. But I've sliced them so that they're a bit longer because I know they're going to shrink. I also have some bread that I got from the supermarket or you can make your own bread. I think one day we should do a baking series. All right, so let's quickly do this because my visitors are coming soon. So we're going to use a binding agent as William says. Guys, I miss that man. Ah, oh, I hope he's going to like my meal. Don't want to embarrass him. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to embarrass the man. Okay. And then We've got some shocker spice that we're using on the shocker's bry stand. <laughs> I'm really excited. Now, the great thing about the shocker spice is, guys, you can use it on anything. And for the next few weeks, we're going to show you how versatile shocker spice is. The more, the merrier. It's an all-in-one seasoning. So guess what? I don't need to add any salt, okay? Please do not add any salt when you use the shocker spice, unless you really love like very salty food. This all-in-one seasoning is just perfect. I'm also going to add some sugar, just a bit of caramelization there that's gonna happen. And let me quickly grab some water too. All right, got in some water now. Just gonna put a bit of water there. 
William says that helps with the marinade. I know I'm talking about him so much. I'm not used to not being around him. So this is perfect. Now, one of the other things that I've prepped already on the side, I've got some nice tomato slices on the side, some Rhodes quality gherkins. I've got some onion, fresh onion. I also have some beautiful lettuce. I've got different types of lettuce, all fresh from the garden that I picked earlier. So I'm really, really excited. We also have some cheese. All right, I think we are ready to go now. Ready to go into the fire. Time to braai. Let's test this shockers. Nice. I don't have the heat too high because these are minute steaks. They're not supposed to stay on too long. I'm trying to think on whether I'm actually going to like chop them up, you know, slice them for the sandwich. I'll make up my mind when they're done. All right, I'm gonna clean up my hands. I'm going to leave these for a few minutes on each side. I want them nice and like medium rare. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. Let me say medium. How oh, I have lied, they'll be well done. <laughs> oh, I'm loving how this is coming out. I'm not too terrible at this thing called braying now, eh? Yeah, I could do this. I could do this. And then now I'm going to throw on some butter onto the fire. See, this is why I love using my grandma plates. I just want to melt it a bit and add some parsley that was freshly uh, picked from the garden this morning. So I'm going to use this as my spread, part of my spread for the bread. And later on, I could also use it for something else. But also, guess what? This is going to also come there. Actually, forget it being on the spread. I think I'm going to just put a bit on there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love this. Mm -hmm. This is the Tikupanga recipe. Uh -huh. Kuzipangira recipe. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Let's put some butter over. It's going to melt nice. And then we just put it on that bread. Oh, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. Woo. All right. I'm done with that. And now my meat's ready. Ooh. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. Medium. This looks amazing. So let's build our sandwich now. So we have our bread here. And that was such a quick and easy meal, right? Such a quick and easy meal. We've got our lettuce. Let's build this sandwich. I've got a nice sauce. Secret sauce? Nah, I'm joking. I'm going to share what I made it with. All right, so this sauce was made with some mayo, some mustard, some barbecue sauce. So it's got some sweetness in there. It's so good. It's so good. All right, let's build our first sandwich. So I'm going to go in first with some lettuce. I like to use different kind of lettuce on my sandwiches. Um, and that's the beauty of having all these different varieties of lettuce, hey? Um, and they all have different textures and tastes, so I really, really love that. Um, I'm going to use these. I think these on the edges are really pretty. And the crunchy bits in the middle. All right, we have some tomato. And remember, like I said, we are going to be learning all about these different varieties of tomatoes. Now I'm going to go on with my steak. Now it's a man coming, okay? And I think Daliso would enjoy a nice, healthy steak. Yep, gonna go with two slices there. I'm not as fancy as Mr. Wood, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with some cheese. Now, another thing you could do, you know, at home is also, once you're done, put this onto a very, very hot pan and then press it in and let it just melt away, it's so much goodness. Then I'm going to go in with the Rhodes Quality Gherkins. Oh, those look so good. Yep, it's a loaded sandwich. I hope he's coming hungry, cause we got lots to talk about, lots to talk about. And voila, the first sandwich is done. How does that look? Does it look Mr. Woody? Hmm. Don't answer that. I'm just gonna go on with the others. 
and get ready to welcome my visitor. All right, so we are done. Oh, the joys of outdoor cooking. I've got some really nice, um, instead of using, you know, the toothpicks, I think this is such a great idea. Wait, they're too tall. Let me cut them. This is rosemary, fresh from the garden. As you know, my little flex. I always flex about, you know, the fact that it's fresh from my garden. Um, my friend Shamiso Gondo is always laughing because it's something I will always say. Is that too extra, guys? I don't think so. Yeah. So if you're just catching us today, right now, welcome to the wood kitchen. We are making a quick sandwich for our darling friends from Syngenta who we've collaborated with and we're going to be working with for a couple of months telling you all about how to grow your own vegetables. We also have some nice rose quality juices. I think, let me see what I have in here. Maybe I'll let him pick, eh? I've got so many yummy. I heard men really like this. Anyways, let's go over. I think he's here. Hello, Daliso. Hi, Lulu. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to the wood kitchen. Thank you for having me. I've been cooking for you. Awesome. This looks good. And now I have some drinks here for you. What drink would you like? I've got so many to choose from. Apple, okay. cranberry, strawberry, banana, orange and passion fruit, or Mediterranean medley. I think I'll have that. Hmm. Sport for choice, yeah? Good choice. I hope, you, I hope you eat meat. Yes, I do. Because I, you know, I, I got actually you a love nice meat. Maybe I love sandwich. it too much. Okay, let's not tell somebody at home that I made you eat things you're not supposed to eat. Ah, oh, fantastic. Awesome. So, Deliso, I guess everybody at home is wondering, who is Deliso and what is he doing in the wood kitchen? So, tell me more about your role at Syngenta. Thank you. Uh, once again, I'm glad to be here. Thank really you. love what you guys are doing. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so... My name is Adeliso Mwanza. Mm -hmm. I'm the vegetable country manager for Zambia, mm -hmm. uh, looking after the vegetable unit. So basically the products you see in there is basically what I oversee mm -hmm. at Zingenta Zambia. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I, I love that we are getting the experts and now I'm going to ask you to pick a sandwich. Wow, it's a big sandwich. Yeah. Huh? Pick a sandwich. <laughs> wow. Or do you want to pick a sandwich after talking? Maybe. I just feel you can talk and, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Because I know how to talk and eat. I think I'll have this as I go. Uh -huh. It looks lovely. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> this is not the good thing to do. I'm not supposed to be eating before. <laughs> I, I love that there are a lot of vegetables on your sandwich. Yes, so tell me about what you plan to do with us in the wood kitchen. Okay, that's a good question. So... Maybe I start by telling you a bit about Syngenta. Mm. So Syngenta is a global company. Uh, that deals in agriculture, uh, agriculture-based uh, uh, science company. So basically, we have two units. Mm -hmm. That's a crop protection. Mm. So basically, we have a unit that looks after taking care of the crop when it's in the field. So mm. we have the chemicals that you need to basically protect your crops. We also have the seed unit, mm. where we basically supply you with the seeds. Uh, it's interesting for you to know that Syngenta has been actively involved in agriculture for over 200 years. Wow. So we, we know what we're talking about when we talk agriculture. Uh, we are currently present in 90 countries. Zambia being one of them. Incredible. Yes. So we have uh, what we call a local unit here. Mm. So we have an office just opposite, uh, uh, sorry, off Lagos Road uh, at Gallery Office Park. Beautiful offices, by the way. I saw the launch on Twitter and I was like, wow, I was blown away by that. Thank you. Thank you. The plan here with the Woods Kitchen is basically have a demonstration plot mm -hmm. where over the coming weeks we shall plant a number of our var varieties of vegetables and we shall walk with the farmers through the process of planting these vegetables and managing mm. them. Mm. So we'll start from the land preparation, what you need to do, uh, the seedlings, why you should do seedlings, mm -hmm. how you should do them. Mm. From there, we'll also cover uh, topics around crop protection, what you need to protect your crops to make sure that at the end of the day, you have a proper harvest. Mm -hmm. As Syngenta, we are constantly looking at helping our farmers produce more, mm -hmm. but in a very sustainable way. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to protect our environment. We only have one earth, so yes. we need to be big on the earth and make sure that even Caleb one day can use the same mm. field. So mm. whatever we're going to use, the practices that are going to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. yeah. I absolutely love that. Now I need to know because I love cooking. I'm looking at what kind of vegetables. Just tease me a little bit. <laughs> Let me know, like, which vegetables am I going to have in our wood kitchen garden? Awesome. So 
we're going to have bell peppers. Mm -hmm. I've seen you guys use bell peppers. A so lot. We're going to have all three colors of the bell peppers. It's wow. the red, yellow, and green peppers. And they're going to grow big. Very big. <laughs> You'll be very impressed with how big they'll Woo. grow. Uh, and very easy to manage, I should say, the bell peppers. Most people will think, how do you change this from this color to that color? But yeah. through this program, definitely even the guy in the office right now will be mm. able to have his own backyard farm. Uh, we're also going to have tomatoes, mm -hmm. different types of tomatoes. Uh, we have what we call beefy tomatoes, mm -hmm. the ones that you use for your sandwiches, you know, the yes. big, nice, juicy tomatoes. Mm. We're going to have the semi-medium type of tomatoes, the ones you usually use for your, what you call it, your, your soup, your gravy, yes. yes. Yeah, and also we'll have uh, watermelons. Oof. Yes, we'll have watermelons. In my garden. In your garden, in your garden. <laughs> so over ah. the period of time we're going to be here, we're definitely going to have different uh, crops mm -hmm. and... We're also going to tell our farmers about the seasonality. It's very ah, important for our farmers yes. to understand when and to what grow. you should grow. Exactly. I'm so, so happy to hear that because I do know I've made the mistake of just growing. I just grow things, mm -hmm. you know. My garden has always just been about, I want it, grow it now. <laughs> then you find the pepper is like this and you're like, but why are my peppers so small? So I'm really, really happy to be able to gain this knowledge also. But most importantly for the wood kitchen is also to share the knowledge. Yeah. But why did you pick the wood kitchen? Oh, before I answer that question. Uh, one key thing about the sharing part, the yes. knowledge sharing. Mm. Us in Genta, we're very strong on that. We Fantastic. are constantly trying to share information with our farmers because we understand that the more information our farmers have, the more mm. they're able to make uh, sound decisions mm. on how they should grow their stuff mm. and even make more profit and be in a sustainable way. Uh, why the wood kitchen? Very good question. Personally, I've followed the wood kitchen over a period of time now. Uh, Whenever I have some free time, I'll be on my Instagram and I'll see your recipes. Yes. I, I always call myself a, a experimental chef. Mm, uh, mm, so mm, mm, mm. <laughs> You guys heard that. So the next time he comes, let's have one of his recipes. <laughs> you remember I said experimental. So we see that you basically have incorporated, first of all, your garden aspect. I hear you saying we're picking herbs from our yes. garden, you know, fresh from the garden, mm. taking it into the kitchen. And I've also seen that you guys use a lot of what we call or you call local recipes, you yes. know. I'll see you guys prepare things like impo in a special yes. way, your fish and whatnot. And I'm like, this, this is what we want to be part of, you know, because mm. we have certain uh, vegetables like uh, uh, verdura. Mm. You know, this is kale that most people don't know about, but I've seen you guys use it. Yes, a it lot. has Yes, it has n numerous nutritional benefits, yeah. but we've grown up knowing the ordinary rep. Mm -hmm. So we want our people to know about these technologies and be able basically to try our stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and I think you're the, you're the best people to help us. I love this. This is a collaboration that honestly we've been dreaming of. We couldn't wait to do it. And I'm glad that you also have the local vegetables, like you've got the okra also. Yes, yes. I am so excited to actually play around with okra in our home, besides just the normal way that we've mm. cooked it. Um, and also just like, like I said before, you know, the aspect that we are sharing and we both, the two brands love to share information. So I hope that you at home are going to be able to jump onto this Pay attention to it. If you're on Instagram, save the post so that you can use it later. If you're on Facebook, share it on so that your page keeps it. You don't have, need to go and start scrolling for it. Share it. If you're on YouTube, subscribe and make sure that you're also commenting and sharing. We also have um, the Syngenta pages on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Would you like to share the handles? So we have the at Syngenta Vegetables. We have that Syngenta Vegetables on Instagram and also just Syngenta Zambia. So the Syngenta Vegetables, basically that's the page that looks at our vegetables. Mm -hmm. We constantly share updates on vegetables on that page. And the Syngenta Zambia, we basically share more on our crop protection. Mm. So we try to separate the two so that our farmers can easily know which page they can go to for what information they want. Mm. We are also on Facebook, same pages. Yeah. We are also on Twitter. Ah. Yeah. Love it. So please do follow, like, comment, share. Make sure that you're keeping in touch. But now I feel that we've spoken a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, today I was cooking on a braai bicycle. Oh. So 
try my meat. I'm not perfect at brying, but I think <laughs> I've tried some minute steak sandwiches. I already took a bite, but it's now time for us to dig in and really, really enjoy this. I'm really looking forward to this collaboration. A big thank you to the Syngenta team and also to the CEO. We came in to sign our contract with them and we're just so excited. I feel the future of information sharing in Zambia is great. We are making sure that we are all growing each other in different ways. But one of the biggest things to secure our food security, to secure, make sure that the next generation have food. Let's learn how to grow our own food. In Zambia, we are blessed with our own land. We've got so much land, but even if you don't have too much space, I think one thing I'm going to do is also plant a few things in my showmakers. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, certain vegetables will do very, very well in beet sacks, uh, mm. showmaker. You know, even the same pots we use for flowers. Yeah. Cabbage will grow perfectly. Kale will grow perfectly. You know what? Because it's not deep rooted. You know, so we'll it will test be... that. We can test that. Yeah. We've got so much space here. But welcome home, Syngenta. Welcome home. We're glad that you've joined the family. <laughs> Let's eat some food. I feel at home, definitely. Yes, let's eat some food. Do you, do you have anything else you want to say? Maybe some last words? I, I remember you mentioning how we are going to also do okra. Mm -hmm. It will be part of the vegetables we're planting, by the way. Whoop, 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 yes. whoop, whoop. Awesome. This looks really good and healthy. Ready for that bite? Wow. <laughs> let's go. Wow. Mmm. 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 Mm, mm, so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wow. This is good. While we enjoy this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and join us again next time as we continue with our Syngenta and Wood Kitchen collaboration. Till next time, guys. Bye.